today we're going to go ahead and scrap out this old uh, dehumidifier. So let's get started straight away. Go ahead and remove the cord. Because that is one of the only three things out of this that you're going to want. So there's your cord. Okay, I will go ahead and uh, speed this up a little bit. Go ahead and get some screws off this thing. With that, the top comes off fairly easily. And we're going to have to spin it on around. Actually, take this off first. That's the uh, catchment container for water. Go ahead and spin that on around. This is what we're trying to get out here. Right here. This is where the radiator is. That's one of the only two things in here that's worth anything. So, we're going to have to get that back panel off, which is going to require us to take a bunch more screws out. Get all those out of the way. Take some off there. And with that, we should, if I can pry this loose, there's a couple little plastic tabs here on this one. So, go ahead and pry the back of this panel loose. This is just sheet steel if you want it for some odd reason. Go ahead and take out these last couple screws that I missed. And there you go, we've uh, revealed the back of the dehumidifier. Down here under this insulation, this is the last thing you're going to want out of here. And that's going to be the compressor on this unit. So there you are. So you've got the radiator here. It's all copper bearing, and then you've got the copper bearing compressor. Those are the two pieces that you want. Going back to removing some screws here, we will take the radiator out if we can here. Got to cut some small wires. Nothing big. This uh, particular dehumidifier, I guess I should let you know now, had a leak in it, so there is no... Uh, no compression in this uh, compressor, or this, yeah, in the compressor. There, there's no pressure in this system. Let me put it that way. Be the easiest way to explain that. Okay. So it's just attached here with some uh, foam up here at the top, believe it or not, now that I got all those screws out. And with that, very easy. Go ahead and remove the radiator. That's your money maker right there. Okay, you're going to flip this thing on its side, and after you find the proper wrench to unbolt the compressor from the bottom of the unit, that's all you're going to do. Just going to, four bolts on this one, unbolt the compressor from the bottom of the unit. And once you do that, with all your lines cut, again, because it's under no pressure, because of that leak, uh, you get all your lines cut. That's it. There's your compressor. There's your other money maker. It's the only other thing you want out of this dehumidifier. Move that out of the way. The rest of this is junk. Unless, of course, you want the fan out of it for some reason, or maybe that control panel. Not sure why you would. But you can if you want to. I'm not going to break this one down that far. There's our compressor. Radiator set to the side already. And that's all there is to it. Okay, the video is over. Get back to work. You've got stuff to do. You don't need to be hanging around here. But before you go, hey, how about hitting that uh, thumbs up button? Or commenting below. I'd appreciate it.